Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been like a really like long time since I made a video considering, but today's haul is pretty big. Uh, I'm pretty much showing you everything I've got without like throughout the past couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty interesting haul. What made me do the haul today is because my stuff finally came in the mail. I ordered stuff from Hot Topic. And I ordered stuff on eBay, and they finally came in the mail. So yeah, I'm just about to show you everything I've got. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is what I got at Epcot a couple of weeks ago. So at the UK Pavilion, I got this adorable Winnie the Pooh. Um, I'm very happy with his purchase. He's adorable. I love him. And that day too, like the day I got him... I saw like the Winnie the Pooh character walking around in Epcot. He wasn't stopping for pictures, but I, nonetheless, I still saw him. And yes, they have so many cute like Winnie the Pooh things there. So I was very happy when I got him. And I've been wanting this plush since I saw it, but like I'm always trying to like budget my money. So I'm glad I was finally able to get him. And then at the Tokyo Pavilion, I got Sinrio Pom Pom Piran. They have Sanrio stuff, like, everywhere there. They have Super Mario. Like, they have, like, like anything Nintendo, like, Pokemon, Animal Crossing, like, Sailor Moon they have there. Like, anything that's, like, popular in Japan they have. And then they have, like, this whole, like, section that talks about, like, Japan culture. Like, it's, it's great. I love it so much. The Japan Pavilion and the UK Pavilion are, like, Two of my favorite pavilions are like places to like stop by at the whole Epcot place. But here's Pom Pom Purin. And I have, I before this, I had nothing Pom Pom Purin. So I'm very glad I have something of him now. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is actually something I got yesterday from Facebook Marketplace. So how it happened, I was thinking like, should I show you first or tell you? So my mom and me are both on Facebook Marketplace, but she's on like the section of like where we live. So like, you know what I mean? Like they have different sections in Facebook Marketplace. I'm on like the whole thing. Like I could see anything, but my mom's just, anyway, she saw this doll and she was like, hey, it's one of your favorite, like, Okay, so it's from the movie Incredibles, and it's like my favorite character from Incredibles. To control a video device with your voice, you need to connect it first. In the Alexa app, Alexa, go to settings. Alexa, stop. I don't know what I said. But anyway, so this is what I got. I got the Edna Mode doll. My mom was like, do you want it? And I was like, yeah, so I got her. One of my favorite Incredibles characters, and I'm very happy with this purchase. What I love about getting, like, Disney dolls, like, usually the ones from Jack Specific or the Disney store, is, like, they're always going to have, like, different face molds. Like, you see how, like, they never, like, reuse, like, Vanilla Pew's face mold for her? Because, like, they have, like, the same structure, I guess. Like, they gave her, like, her own face mold to match her character. That's what I love about, like, getting Disney dolls, and that's what I love about, like, collecting Disney dolls. Is that like, like you know what I mean? Like they all will look distinctly different from another. That's probably one of the reasons why I love collecting Monster High too, because they all use like different face molds too. But yeah. Now the next few things I'm going to show you are from Hot Topic. Now, this I opened before I opened this package from Hot Topic because I they were pants. So I'm part of the Hot Topic rewards thing. And because I was on the Hot Topic reward things, reward program, I was able to get these pants. Now, as you can see, they're originally tw 20, I don't know if you can see that, but they're originally $27. But I got these pajama pants for $5. They're a little big on me, which is why like, I put them out of the box because I like to show you guys. But here's the pattern. Um, like I said, they didn't have my size, so I had a size up, which isn't that big of a deal because I could just tie the drawstring into it, but I love these pants so much. Like, they have Rapunzel on them, Pascal, the lanterns, the sun, and for like $5 too, and plus like I needed new pajama pants, so 
that's always a good thing to do now we're going to open this package from the topic so i've been wanting to open this package up so much i was like you know i'm gonna wait um i got a coupon which let me see when this expires the end of march so i have a good amount of time oh and i have even more hot cash so yeah it's good to be like a rewards member and to use hot cash and to buy like a lot because then you get a lot of stuff okay so let's see what's in here i already know what it is oh my god oh my gosh it's so cool i got the monster high necklace Oh my gosh, I wanted the earrings with this too, but the earrings sold out, but that's fine because the necklace looks so cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. So it looks, so it's like one of those ones where you put the claps on it, but like from the front it looks like a candy necklace, like you know the beads, you know. But this is it, it has the little cameo, a heart with stitches these oh my god i'm very excited to wear it okay and the other thing i got this is more like a blind box but i had rewards to get something else so i was like why not so yeah i'm just gonna pause it before i open it okay so this was something i wasn't gonna buy but it came like, you know, to buy an extra thing to save money. Like, that's like the whole rewards thing, do. Like, the more you buy, the more you save. Like, it's weird how it works, but. So, I got the My Little Pony blind box. Um, it's all from Generation 1, My Little Pony. And, like I said, part of the reason why I waited to open the whole package is because I knew this was in there. And I didn't want to, like, tuck myself. So... Yes. Okay, I don't know if it's... Okay, so they give you, like, a black bag. So it's, like, really secretive. Oh, and it's by Loungefly, by the way. So it's, like, you know, a good brand. Oh. Okay, which one did I get? Oh, this is so cute. Oh. This is the one I got. I love her. I can't wait to put her with my other pins. She's so cute. I'm very glad I got this. See, these are like really good enamel pins. Okay, so now for the big thing from this package. The main thing I bought, the reason why. is for this purse. I've been waiting for this purse for a while. I ordered it so I could go to my local Hot Topic, but because I didn't go there like exactly on time, they canceled the order. So I had to reorder this purse and I'm not mad about it because it's better for them to come to your house anyway because less or like mailbox in my case because it's less relying on people to drive you and then yeah so it's just more convenient that way I feel like I used to think the other way around but no um I do have something from by the time I purchased this purchased this there was something that I did order that is there but I told them to keep it so let's hope they did all right so this is the purse and as you can see the charms on it are so cute you have the bolt for Frankie the monster high school lead and then Dracula's things which is like my favorite charm out of all three of them I just love that touch and then on the back here it says monster high 2010 alumni which is perfect because that's when i started to love monster high i'm an original fan and let me take this plot oh this is so cute this is like such a cute like purse to like you know and it is high quality too like it's really good quality um, and then here I could put my Draculaura keychain or any, like, keychain I want to use. And, yeah. 
the inside's just pink like there's nothing like interesting on the inside but the sides have like this really cool like, plaid print and yes i'm very happy that i oh i was just looking at my dog but yeah i'm very happy that i finally have this purse oh my gosh i love it it's so cute like it's stuff i i love it i love it so much it looks even better like in person than it did on their website okay now last but certainly certainly not least what i got from ebay um i already know what it is because i only ordered one doll from ebay but i love her oh my god oh my god she's beautiful oh there's a little blue chip in her lip they didn't say that in the description but it's fine like it doesn't bother me that much but let me see if you can see it on camera because if you can't then i'm not gonna be and it's like an easy blue. I could easily fix it, which is probably what I'm going to do if it still bothers me. But she's so pretty. Yeah, you can't really t tell on camera. But I got Gigi Grant. Oh, my God. I got her for like a really good deal. Oh, my God. She's so pretty. Her eye makeup and her eyes are on like good. So like that I think is more important. But she is so pretty. Like... Oh my god, her shoes, her, her hand mold, like, everything about her is beautiful and stunning. Like, her earrings, like, look at her ear shape. Like, her face is beautiful, like, this is a very pretty doll, like, her face is perfect. And her hair is, like, in good condition, too. And, like... I never noticed about, I don't know if all Gigi dolls have this or if it's this one that does, but like, she has like, a little like henna on her neck. And she's so pretty. This is such a beautiful doll. I love the blue lips. Yeah, her lips aren't that bad. It's like one little dot that I could fix, potentially. That's not a word. Potentially, I could fix. I love her. I love her so much. I'm finally glad I have her too. Her doll is so pretty and underrated. And 13 Wishes, this isn't the 13 Wishes one, but 13 Wishes is such a good movie. I was going to get the 13 Wishes one of her, but I like this one more. Sorry about that. What I was saying was I could have gotten the 13 Wishes one because it wasn't like that much more money. And like that is her debut doll. But I like this one more. Like, I love the blue lips. I like the hair here more. I feel like the outfit is more detailed. Like, like look at her skirt. Like, let me show you her skirt. Like, it has, like, that pull to it that's, like, very, like, Middle Eastern. And, like, I love, like, the pink and the blue. Like, these, like, the gold. Like, she's just such a beautiful doll. Gigi is honestly so underrated. One of the most underrated ones, especially like now having her doll. Like she's so underrated and so pretty. Oh, she has even like a little dimple on her chin too. Like the unique face mold with the ears or earrings. Like this doll is just everything. So, and I love her hair too. I like this hair more than the 13 Wishes one. That's for sure. But I love her so much and I can't wait to get this with her. So I decided for now to pose her right here. Um, personally, I wish I could have put her on a stand, but I'm out of stands. So right now she's just here with these ones. And yeah. So yeah, that brings us to the end of the video. Um, I really hope you guys all enjoyed. And like I said before... Um, I'm sorry that it's been a while, you know, I've just been busy, but I'm planning on having a new video up soon, possibly this week as well. So yeah, have a great day and bye.